everyone, it's Alexandria. And Michael. Welcome to Never Better Club. Today we're taking on the Ryback Pepper Slam Chug Challenge. Made by the Chili Project. So today we're taking on the Ryback Chug Challenge, a new League of Fire challenge. Yes, and if you have been following our channel closely and are an old subscriber, then you would know the last Chug Challenge I did did not go so well. So this is called, uh, we'll call this my Redemption Challenge, and <laughs> uh, Ryback himself called us out to do this. So Which is pretty cool. It was pretty cool. <laughs> we're going to give it our best shot. I've heard that it's actually pretty tasty. Um, I'm not sure how it compares to the other League of Fire Chug challenges, but I do know that it is, you know, I can't tell, I can't, I don't know if you can tell, but it's green and it's a jalapeno base with lime. I hear that um, it wreaks havoc on your stomach though, so. Yeah, fun. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, that'll be fun. Um, yeah, let's open it up. Yeah. Oh, 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 and, and, and get cards. Hey, but, awesome. but look at my card. Hi, Sundance. <laughs> oh, Sundance. Great. I, have, I knew I, it was facing out, so I knew I had your card. But I've never received one of uh, your cards, Sundance, because they're newer. They're the new, which one did you get? Oh, 131. So they're printing the new ones. Cool. Okay. But wh who is it? Ziki? I can never pronounce your name, our friend. But you do you comment on a lot of our stuff in like our Poland. Videos. Yeah. Yeah, he he does um he if I'm correct, he does a lot of pure insanity stuff. There he is, the big guy. Yes, the big guy. Um I don't know a lot about I don't know anything about wrestling. So well, but I, let, but let's I learn like about the challenge. Things. You wanna read the rules? Here we are. Yeah, yeah. Here's the rules. Okay, I'm excited though. Why? I, I don't know. You know, it, this is a smaller chug. I'm going to use a straw. I have two of them in case it's a little chunky. It doesn't look like, it looks really well blended. I'll talk more in a second. Let's read the rules. So no food or drink as always while attempting the challenge. You must remain on camera at all times until your challenge is complete. Read your short disclaimer and uh, you must video your challenge without edits, of course. You must be seen opening your bottle seal exclamation point. Either pour your contents into a clear shot glass or chug uh, right from the <laughs> excuse me, bottle. Wait four minutes and then you've completed your challenge. Repeat as necessary. So uh, what's your plan, Michael? You, so, so this is the slam slammer style yes. container. So I'm, I'm just going to chug it straight from the container. Look at the Ryback card. Did you show that to the camera? It's actually really yeah. cool. Um, and it says on the back Ryback Pepper Slam Chug Challenge inspired by the big guy Ryback. He's a big guy. He he looks like a large individual. Uh, this is the fourth of our League of Fire presents Chug Challenge series. Oh, oh, League of Fire. I would like to see a Paris Hilton Chug Challenge, <laughs> <laughs> and I want <laughs> I want it to be called the That's Hot Challenge. <laughs> Oh and I've been, I've been she thinking about this. this I've what? been thinking about this for like a week, and I think it'd be really great make if you could make Serrano. it pink. No, <laughs> it needs to be like strawberry Serrano or something. Oh my god! And I will take the record. And <laughs> if you ever try to take the record for me, I'll take it back again. I but I want the pink challenge. I want to be the that's hot Paris Hilton challenge. Here's Ryback again. I don't know him, but I do right. know Paris Hilton. Maybe I'll get on it and message her. Can you imagine her reaction? Chug? What? No, I'd be like, it's a hot sauce. You're you're gonna look great on the bottle. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna read my disclaimer. Okay. I'm Michael Morgan. I'm over 18 years of age, of sound mind, and have read and understood the hot sauce product disclaimer in the League of Fire website. In summary, I accept that the League of Fire, their suppliers, manufacturers will, under no circumstances, be responsible for or liable for any claims of injury or damage arising for me in consuming this product or multiples thereof. I acknowledge and agree to this fact without question. I'd like to apologize if I end up coughing <coughs> like I just did because uh, we're having very poor air quality all over the United States right now. 
Canada. Um, can Canadian wildfires are, are bad and it's a hundred degrees and there's not much wind. Where degrees we live. That they were really so um, not not great day for me. Uh, oh yes, I, Alexandria Tersek, am over 18 years of age of sound mind, have read and understood the hot sauce product disclaimer on the League of Fire website. In summary, I accept that the League of Fire, their suppliers and manufacturers will in no circumstance be held responsible for or liable for any claims of injury or damage arising from me consuming this product or multiples thereof. I acknowledge and agree to this without question. So to be clear, we can take as long as we want to chug this thing? Oh, right. You know, the directions didn't say otherwise, or the uh, it, the rules. I, I, you must remain on camera until the challenge is complete. Okay. <laughs> take your time, Alexian. I will take my time. <laughs> Look, I'm going to open it too because I no fear. So that really tripped me up. Uh, Midge, Creature Sauce Co. We have Midge. two more on the way. Oh, we're going to do it again. Yep. And I said on camera I would not <clears throat> do it again. Never say that. <laughs> Mike, yeah, I, I got it. I really, I tell myself that, sorry, this is always, these seals are hard to get off sometimes. Nope. Um, yeah, can you do it? So I always tell myself, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to say uh, that I won't do something again. Only one challenge, and that's the, uh, the brittle. Oh, I won't do that because of my teeth. Yeah, but and outside no of that, if you fail a yeah. challenge, you have to do it again. No, no, and that wasn't a failure. That was me hard stopping. It did, had nothing to do with the heat. It was uh, the I failed. thickness, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I failed. Well, let's, let's, do, let's do this one. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to smell it? Maybe I open the lid. Uh, it looks like it smells great, honestly. Oh, it does. But I'm not green. scared. I'm not scared of the oh, texture. Oh, man. I wish I had a burrito. Oh, to, like, let's touch. Before we... I'm not stalling because I'm excited, actually. Maybe I'm just procrastinating because it's going to be fun. <clears throat> but this morning, I, um, I've i been working on myself. I've been bettering myself as a spicy human. And I, um, I believe this morning I did at least five shots of hot sauce. Last night before bed, I drank an entire bottle of hot sauce. Um, she did? I, I, it was midges. It was midges, yeah. And, but this morning I woke up and I was, I liked it so much. I just wanted to taste a little bit more. So I had a little taste and I said, you know, I'm going to just go get the like not so hot sauces out of my cabinet. They're sitting around there because this doesn't have anything to do with heat for me. It's, it's the texture and the smell of certain peppers. I don't know. And I, so I learned something about myself. Tell me. Th this, this is what trips me up. And I bet you Midge has this in his pepper chug or his, his hot sauce chug, his chupacabra. It, it's, it's chunky texture. It's cold, but it, Vidalia onion. What? I, it just really? it makes me feel sick when it's cold and mushy. And it's like, I don't know what yeah, it that is. That sound ignorant here, but what kind of onion is that? Well, it's a like sweet onion. Okay. Yeah. It, just it's the sweetness. Buy a bunch and blend it up and. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you you make, make me yourself. chug onions. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Anyways, I love onions. That is very specific. No, but I love That's onions, but it was that. in the hot sauce that I was drinking earlier, and it was the only, I did five shots of hot sauce. They're all different flavors, textures, consistencies, colors, heat levels, and the one of them, it wasn't hot, but I took a slug back of it, and I was like, oh. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it just was something about it, and I have to really dig deep in my memory bank and figure out where in my life probably it's probably within the last six months what chug basically was sweet that made me feel weird and um mm. a gag i was probably maybe those v5s mm. but those aren't chunky they're nice and smooth yeah. consistency so anyways maybe it's just today but that Good. that made me feel weird Good research today. all right let's get to it yeah i'm gonna wait let me get ready you i saw a double straw well i thought i had a concern over it not coming out fast enough but now i won't need to because because um there's no time constraints so shahina shen the uk chili queen she drank hers this way hmm. so i i thought um i'm gonna mimic her since she's amazing <laughs> all, right. all right cheers, cheers. A little left. You know how these things go. <coughs> right in the back of the throat. Mm hmm. That's the same with the straw, it gets right in the back of your throat. And that's as empty as it's gonna yeah, get. Yeah, not pretty easy. Yeah, it did. See that there? 
you probably see better behind the bottle. Yep. <clears throat> nice. I feel a little heat. It's all in the back of the throat because it's straw puts it there. You know, really, it's not bad tasting. No, it's good. I feel like um, so you put this is quite. The or something? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say this is quite literally a salsa verde. Yeah, green, green salsa, but it it tastes like you put it on tacos. You have a pepper for it. So there's the um, the only thing that concerns me about this is the nine million extract. Oh, there's and extract in this. Nine million. Ah. Yeah, that's why it. That's what's gonna mess with your stomach. So that's what messes with your stomach. I'm, you know, I'm a little concerned about my stomach, but not too much because. Oh my gosh. I'm so silly. I was like, like grabbing for my milk. <laughs> but I was gonna say, I was gonna pick it up, show you, because I had a little protein shake before and um Oh wow, the hiccup. No way. You're sweating. A little sweat. Man. You guys are lying to us. <sighs> it's just in the back of my throat because I drink it with a straw. I did like that. I felt way less prone to feel um, gaggy or overwhelmed, like too much was coming into my mouth at once. It was like a more gradual um, flow. Wow, I feel a little weird from this. Feel a little weird? I'm not talking about gut. I'm like, my body heat's rising a little bit. Yeah. I didn't realize it was extra, did it? <laughs> hey, this is the real deal, you guys. Yeah. It's a, it's a building heat. I don't feel, um, I didn't feel much at first, but now I'm getting a little mouth burn from it too. Definitely feel it kind of making its way down my stomach. No, I feel um, kind of something weird in my chest. Yeah. No, I, I guess maybe I'm. I feel like I'm having a like a little bit of a confused reaction to this challenge because um, I didn't expect expected it to be a more mild one. Yeah, I had a hiccup. That was interesting. I'm fully prepped, so. Hmm. I feel hot in my head. Like in my in my. Head, like in my skull, you know, like not on my forehead or my skin. Definitely a little sweat. Not a ton of mouth heat. Um, I have a little bit going on. Yeah. I did, I did when I, the back of my throat a little bit when I first chugged it, but I definitely feel it on my stomach a bit right now. And I'm sweating a little bit. That to me, I can't hide that. So it's... Yeah, this is legit. Like, sorry. Oh, finally it happened. I could see this really messing with your stomach. It tastes good when you burp. It tastes, well, I have a lot of other hot sauces in my stomach right now. That's it. Um, yeah, I definitely have a little bit of like pressure building in my stomach. Um, oh, it feels good. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Well. Doing multiples of these would be um I was just about to challenge. say that. Uh, I think, I think this will be quite the challenge to do. Yeah. Um, a bunch of these probably similar to the Scoville Slammer. And it's not no heat at first on the first one, but yeah, I, think, I think I <laughs> think I think when you get to like probably chug three, four, you'd be uh you feeling it in your gut. Yeah. I think this is one that you'd wanna prep probably hours ahead and really have a good base in and everything. So still my head feels so weird. I feel like I have a pressure headache. I don't know. Yeah. Or, Interesting. I've never had that kind of reaction from Well, extract can really do wonders. <laughs> yeah, wonders. Yeah. Okay, anything else you want to talk about? I think it's so cool that I got Sundance's card. Sundance, I wonder that if that means like, that well, probably means my card's circulating around too. If it's, this is a one, yours is 116, mine's 111. If anyone gets my card, mention me in your video or show me. I've never seen anyone get my card before. I'm talking sorry. Yes, Saturday we are hosting um, we are hosting the Nugget Battle Live, where we are going to be eating 20 chicken nuggets as fast as possible for uh, Parkinson's Canada, and Parkinson Canada is um, donates, to my knowledge, all of their proceeds to uh, Parkinson's research. We are going to be eating these nuggets to raise awareness as fast as possible. And this is covered in hot sauce for burning purposes. Um, this is a Sons of Fire uh, challenge, I guess. I, I know that they started it and we really wanted to be involved. We are not part of Sons of Fire, nor are 
the other competitors that are going to be going live with us, which includes Sundance 270 and Casually Roasting, along with um, matrimony Matrimonially Roasting, which is, but that's not how you look them up. It, you, you can find them on Casually Roasting. It's Matt and his wife, Ashley, and then Sundance, like I said, um, and then us two. So there's five of us. And that should be a lot of fun. Should be a rather short live. You know, we'll do a little talking and then we'll get right into it. And then maybe do a little talking in our afterburn time. We'll see who can eat 20 nuggets fast. fast yeah. Fast. Um, I, a fun fact for anyone watching this, I've never eaten 20 nuggets in one sitting in my <laughs> entire life. Like I've never done you that. You sure? You've been at Chick-fil-A nuggets? Never. No, maybe Chick-fil-A, maybe Chick-fil-A, but I usually split them with For them. the record, I've definitely eaten 20 or more nuggets in one sitting. I so. think a lot of people have. Yeah. I've never done that. It's a that very either. easy thing to do. I didn't even grow up eating a lot of fast food. It was like a once a month thing in my family. We don't have any fast food where we live. We have to make everything or buy it from the grocery store. So, um, you support, support the small businesses. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But I'm going to drive an hour and, um, 12 minutes round trip just to get McDonald's chicken nuggets <laughs> for us. Um, because they're consistent in size and they are delicious and I haven't had them in probably what, two months? <laughs> Something like that. Last time I got, had them, it was probably picking off of Mars Happy Meal. Anyways, this is cool. Yeah, um, this is, is the, it's the Ryback Chug Challenge. If you like this video, please uh, give, give this video a like. Subscribe to our channel if you have not already. And share this with a friend. Always let us know if you want to see us do anything crazy. We usually are pretty open to any ideas. So thank you for watching for today, and we hope you have a wonderful rest of your morning or afternoon. All right. Awesome. Have a great day. Bye. See ya.